Hi guys, happy New Year's. It's like two days after New Year's when I'm filming this. And in today's video, I am going to Leicester Square to see their Christmas market. So before we get into it, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I really appreciate it. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into our video. All right, and so I just got out of the train station and I see the theater that they're playing Wicked at and I wish I could have gone to go see it, but the tickets were super expensive. So it was just a no-go. We're about to drive past the Westminster Abbey and it is so cool. It's a huge open place. Oh, look at that gold clock. It's so pretty. And there are all those people waiting outside to go in most likely. But I'm not doing all that today. But it looks so nice. And then Big Ben, but I already went there last summer, so I'm not gonna go back and then all these really pretty buildings. <laughs> So this is what I'm looking at right now. I know they do have a Christmas show, but it only shows at 7.30 at night. And I don't know if I want to stay out that long, but it looks so cool. All right, and so the Christmas market doesn't open for another 20, 30 minutes. So this is where I'm at right now in the square. And it is so cool. I might go in the M&M store because I've only been to the one in New York and it was just kind of meh. So I want to see if this is any different. So this is kind of what they have. It smells like chocolate in here though. They've got clothes, so that's cute. And then they have this print your face on M&M candies, which is cool. And I'm thinking they go in this little thing here, but I might be wrong. Okay, so they've got the peanut M&Ms, the salted caramel, and they even have the brownie M&Ms too. All right, so I just got out of the M&M factory. I decided not to get anything because I don't need that much sugar. And then for like two thirds of a cup of candy, it's $3.29 and I'm, I'm not sure if that's less than a bag of Skittles, but I know it's not worth $3.29 or more for a whole bunch of candy I can just get when I get home. So I didn't get anything, but it smelled really nice in there. So it was fun to just walk around a little bit. Um, but now, as you can see, I got my umbrella out, so it's raining, but I'm still gonna walk around because it's only drizzling and hopefully only lasts about an hour of this drizzle before I can go into Leicester Square. And oh my gosh, as I'm walking around the square, there's like a whole movie theater. It's really cute. I'm having a lot of fun and there's like restaurants and casinos too. But look, Lord knows I don't need to be in there. <laughs> but there's fun stuff to do nonetheless while you're in the city. So it's oh my goodness, there's a Ben and Jerry scoop shop. I wonder if I should go in or if I should leave it alone. I don't know. All right, so let's just square is finally open up. It's 12 noon now, so I'm so thankful because it is pouring down with rain as you can see. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can and just enjoy it as much as I can before I go because I'm obviously not going anywhere else after this, but I'm still gonna enjoy it. I'm still gonna have fun. I'm still gonna see what they have to offer. They have the cutest little moving clock that spins around in the middle of the square. So I just got into Leicester Square. It's so cute in here. Look at all the stuff they have. It's so cute. Oh, and it's another one of those ornament stands that I saw the other day. Stylized paintings and signs. And they've got bratwursts. 
I love the way they do their stalls. They're so cool. And then they have like a brownie like station. So that looks nice. But I'm not gonna do it. And I think that I'm gonna miss the cabaret show, La Click. Because man, it looks so cool from the advertisements. But it's all the way at night. And I don't want to be stuck not being able to get home on the train. And then they have a cute little mini pancake stand. But I don't know who's gonna be eating these pancakes though, but it's cute. And they have like more sausages and burgers and french fries. Gosh, as I'm walking to the bus station, I see that they have the Harry Potter Cursed Child um, play going on here. I have the book, I've just never read it. I know, it's good. And I'm going home now, but I still have a few errands to run, so I figured I'd take you guys for that because it is something to do while I finish out the rest of the video. So I'm about to get off um, back into my area, and once I get to the mall, then I'll bring you guys along with me. And so now I am walking through Whit Gift Center, and they still have all their Christmas lights up, and it's so cute. And then I wanted to get a better view of the mall for you guys. This might be better. And then their whole front sign is lit up as well. It's really pretty. It's cute how they have it. And so now I'm in Marks and Spencer's, and this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. And so now, oh my goodness, <laughs> someone made the mannequin do the middle finger. And so now I'm going upstairs towards the grocery store. So this is what it looks like in the Marks and Spencer's as I move around. It's really cute in here. I love it. And I'm looking for mango. All right, so I was looking for mango, but not all of these look right. I don't want to get something that I can't eat the full container of. And since I leave soon, I don't want to buy something that I'm not going to fully enjoy. And one thing I love in Marks and Spencer's that I always recommend people try are these really nice chicken pies. They're chicken and gravy. And then they also have my favorite are the steak pies, the classic steak. And then I also like... I like the creamy mushroom. There it is, the chicken and mushroom. It's so creamy. These are so good from Marks and Spencer's. Oh, and then that's the other thing I needed over here too. I need to get my grandmother some warm milk because I did not realize that we were running out. Mostly because I wasn't drinking it and because she was the only one drinking it. So I got to grab some for her. So that's two things of milk secured. And now I'm also looking for some desserts for my grandma as well because she says she wanted something nutty but i'm not sure if i really see anything that she might like so i'm still like trying to decide on what all is here okay and then i think i found the nutty dessert that my grandma might like it's like these almond cantu chioni or ch yeah chioni i don't know someone correct me if i'm wrong but i'm gonna get one of these in the bag she should like these because she likes hot chocolate so it should be good to drink with like hot chocolate or tea but i found these all butter strawberry and clotted cream shortbread cookies and that sounds like it might be good and it's in a cute little tin and they're good till august 7th 2024 and it's august 7th because they put the month after the day so 08 is august so i think i'm gonna get this so I'm in the checkout line right now, um, waiting to check out. I forgot to say I'm also getting these little mini shortbread fingers because these are pretty good. I like them, so I'm going to get them for myself. And I'm in Marks and Spencer still, and I see like these cute night sets, and that one is so cute. And so is the pink one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get them or not. Not a bad price either. If I really want them, I'll come back on um, Friday in the next two days, I think, or the day after tomorrow, if that's two days, I don't know. Um, but when I come back on Friday to do my last errands before I fly back out to Georgia, if I really like them and they still have them on the door floor, I'll try it on and I'll get them. But if not, I'll go. All right, guys, so I am now done at the mall and I am heading home. It is raining again, but not as bad as earlier. But anyways, it is the end of today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I really appreciate it. With all that being said, have a wonderful beginning of your new year and I'll see you guys in the next one.